Hey everyone, I just want to show you a quick flip of my current planner. <laughs> I know the last video was pretty much me not making up my mind which one of the planners I want to use, whether the GM, which is this one, or the desk agenda. So it's been like a back and forth between the two because I still can't decide. So this is why you'll see some of the pages were punched for like the disk system, which was in my half letter set up for the desk agenda and I eventually just punch the the regular holes for the rings right over it. So for both of them I'm using half letter paper because it's a lot easier to print at home and I don't have to cut the paper because it's sold on Amazon as half letter. So basically in the pockets I just have this card for now and I have this sticker kit from Two Little Bees. It's very cute and it's very fall-like. I do love fall. It's my favorite season and I love all of these little um, blush pink, brown, and these kind of neutral tones. And then there's just a card here. Um, nothing really different with the setup when I change it from my desk agenda to my um, GM. I do have the same things printed in both of the um, inserts. So I have been doing a little bit of journaling in here and I kind of think that I want to keep this just for my journal. I did have some notes about some medication and like my blood work results and then I have the section right here that's that lists all of my plans. So here again you can see that it was recently in my half letter size which was the desk agenda and now it's in the A5. So I'm hoping to kind of get my mind around which one I really want to keep as far as my everyday planner. I kind of get tired of switching back and forth but you know as planner girls we sometimes can't really make up our mind if you especially if you have two planners that you really love in my case i have three planners so not only do i have the gm i have the half letter and i also have the mm and i will be using one and then all of a sudden i don't want to use it anymore so i'm kind of thinking that based on my planning I could kind of see which one of the planners I use more in terms of the desk agenda or the GM. So when I started with these inserts, these were originally used in my desk agenda. I noticed that I used that agenda more. If you can see the difference in what I wrote and all the decoration, these were when the inserts were in the desk agenda. And then we come here. I think these were also in the desk agenda and this was in the desk agenda and then last week when I switched over to my GM this is the week I kind of used a lot of post-it notes last week and I used some um, like notepads and just wrote everything out I hardly picked this up and now we're up to this week which I tried to um, do a little bit of plan Right now, I was going to film a plan with me, but my carpet is wet in my office because I just cleaned it, So I and I can't even get my tripod, but I just wanted to come show you just a little flip of where I am with the current planner and show you some new cute dashboards that I have. So back to the using this one. So last week is like a really good indication of what I love more because... I feel that I took up and I utilized the desk agenda a lot more because it was easy to open and close. I know I've said that quite a few times, but I wanted to switch back to this just to kind of see. And for the week that I switched back, I primarily use post-it notes. So that's just to show what I really love. Um, I kept the wage wars. This is the finance section. And then in the home and garden section I still have the photo here and some meal ideas and this is like a little post-it with some things that I had to do which I've already taken care of and then the things in the back so the basically that's the 
kind of little little flip I wanted to show you. And here are the new dashboards that I have. So if you did not watch the video with the Canva tutorial and you're interested in making something like this, I suggest you go ahead and watch it. I did show you how to make dashboards like this utilizing Canva and you can make it for free. You print it at home, you save money from purchasing from other shops. I print on 32, I'm sorry, this is um, matte photo paper and this is printed in the highest quality that my printer can print and it came out really lovely. These are from Peach Palm and these are half letter size. And this one as well is also from her. And this one is from her as well, along with this. So these are just the new dashboards that I have for fall. I've been wanting to set them up into the planner, but because my mind is so undecisive, I don't really want to commit to a planner yet until I've kind of made up my mind. So I did purchase some discs from Cloth & Paper, the clear one. Once they arrive, I'm going to see if they're true one inch and then I could probably just switch everything back into the other agenda. And then my goal is to sell this one because I have been given a lot of thought and I, <laughs> me having it is just making me extra like undecisive because it's here. So I'm going to keep switching back. And when I switch it back, I realize that I don't really like the the way how the agenda closes. It's not a defect or anything. It's just how the GM agenda closes. You have it's it closes like this versus the desk agenda. When you fold it over, it closes perfectly. In order to make this close perfectly, you have to kind of adjust the pages and all of that. So those are my little pet peeve that makes me not really wanted and also the little snap here that's another thing so i have these new inserts dashboards to set up into the planner once i make my decision and then i will go ahead and um, post some more videos of the fall setup i'm going to change some of the dashboards and i'm also thinking about changing some of the names on the dividers with the label maker that I have. So thanks for watching this little video of this little flip and for listening to me rambling. Um, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time.